is up and what is good everyone welcome back to the channel i'm so cow shaolin my next stop here in portland is dr tongues i had that shop you might have seen them on amazon prime's show a toy store near you they're here in portland a lot of people recommended this store to me so i'm here i'm checking it out and i think i'm gonna be uh pretty excited because i know they have a lot of cool stuff here if i remember that episode correctly yeah it was an awesome shot so i'm here gonna look around check it out I'm glad you guys are here with me, joining me on this toy hunting adventure. If this is your first time tuning in, uh, consider subscribing to the channel so you can keep up with all my toy hunting adventures. And also go back and check out my past ones as well. And I am on Instagram at SoCalShotlin. So let's head on in. Let's get this toy hunt started. Dr. Tongues here in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Here we have some awesome condition tin lunch boxes. Very cool to see. No rust on them. those things are in perfect shape. We got some man space 60s toys up on top. Here we have the original G.I. Joes. Yes, we did not know those are the original G.I. Joes. Big 12 inch figures or dolls. And we got some more stuff that I've never seen. This is all stuff from like the 60s. They were big into the space race at that time. Star Seeker there by Mattel. This is a silly semi ride along toy. This thing is it's funny by Mark's Toys. Here we have some cool posters on the wall. Ghostbusters, Mars Attack. A quick little glance at the store. As you can see it's small, but they have so much stuff in here. They pack it in. There's a Care Bears Care a Lot playset. Get Along Gang Caboose, I think it's very cool. I remember that from my childhood. Strawberry shortcake, little cabinet there. This glass case has a whole bunch of things mixed in. A bunch of small, tiny figures, the PVC figures. You got Care Bears, California Raisins, Smurfs. Even got some Cabbage Patch Kids, the miniature ones. Gumby, all those little mini strawberry shortcakes. Very cool. And even books. Lots of old vintage books down here at the bottom. Here we have these little minifigures. Popeye, Looney Tunes. These are all from like the 50s and 60s. Care Bears on box and loose. Those things are very clean. And up here on the wall you see this just big selection of toys. Men on box. Lots of strawberry shortcake. They had lots of girl toys here at this store. Which my girlfriend definitely enjoyed uh, but you can see here like you got swamp thing playset ghostbusters lots of good stuff these glass cases here was amazing as, as to see because there's things that i don't really come across that often uh, one of my adventure stores a lot of stuff from the 60s 50s here's an amazing hanna barbera vinyl collection you got some glasses thrown in there as well mcdonald's glasses there's a Keebler Elf alarm clock. That was a promo item given out back in the days. And we got these little zipper cups. I forget what those things are called, but I don't know if you guys saw that. There were some vintage Kool-Aid packets there as well. This is definitely a section you guys want to maybe pause and see everything that's in here because there's so much stuff to look at. I had to look at these cases more than once because there's so much things in here so much awesome vintage stuff that i don't re i don't really see that often but definitely pause and look around look at all the stuff that's in this these glass cases like all these little dolls i've never seen them before these tin cars very cool this is an awesome little pepsi pickup truck there in the back i don't know if you guys saw that a couple of star trek items here cards games handheld games some tin toys this is a very cool legend of zelda link book stopper lots of amazing stuff in here i had a lot of fun looking through here lots of cool tin toys down here at the bottom here we have some crazy this is before power wheels you had some of these like pedal cars from the, like, the 50s and that looks like a wagon from bedrock from the flintstones I know you guys see that Men in Box Firehouse placed it by the Ghostbusters. That thing was crazy to see. In excellent condition too. 60s 
Six million dollar man buying a woman mint in box. Stuff you don't see, that stuff from like the 70s is awesome. Lots of robot related items in this case. There's a power lord in the back hiding. Some black hole. Micronauts, always cool to see micronauts. And all these cool little wind up robot toys and 60s little plastic spaceman by Mark's Toys. And then Dungeons and Dragons, very cool. Uh, I was tempted to pick up some of those. That Minotaur there on the left looks really cool. I don't know what that is from. If you know, let me know. That thing looked pretty sick. Just a whole bunch of, lots of different toy lines mixed up in here. I see Battle Bees, Centurions, Silverhawk, lots, lots of stuff. Like I said, he really packs in the toys here in the, these glass cases, which is awesome. Godzilla. And down here we have more of those monsters from like Ultraman series. A couple of mask vehicles. Always cool to see mask. Some Ninja Turtles in box vehicles there. Very cool. Super power vehicles loose on top. Here's like the superhero section. Lots of things mixed in here from different eras. You got some 60s and 70s. Universal Monsters, like I said, they have it all here. Ant-Man, you guys remember those? A couple of superpowers on loose and on card in the back. There's a Clark Kent figure, loose. Check out that uh, Spider-Man flashlight in the back corner. Like I said, I definitely pause some of these sections so you can see everything is in here. Rock Lords, there's a vehicle for Rock Lords. I think my buddy Rich was telling me he was looking for one of those Rock Lord vehicles. A little ET section, Thundercats, there's a bunch of rare stuff there. Bengali with his weapon. I'll set you back a few hundred bucks. Dick Tracy. Lots of good stuff in here. This is like my bread and butter, man. Some of the stuff I love. The Ninja Turtles, one of my biggest collections that I own. It's turtle figures. And then Masters Universe. Missing a few Masters Universe. There's a black face Grizzlor right there. I definitely need to add that one to the collection. So if you don't know, that is a variant Blackface Grizzlor. And then this section has a whole bunch of like ceramic, really old stuff from like the 50s and 60s. A lot of tiki stuff in here, which was cool to see. So I had a really good time checking out this store and checking out all these items I've never seen before. Always cool checking it out. What was that crazy stuff down there at the bottom? Ceramic pigs and stuff. A bunch of cool tiki items as well. All those little mixing sippers from different places. And yeah, tiki's very big. There's a big tiki convention that happens in San Diego every year. I just found out about it this year. But here's some Transformers. Always cool to see Transformers. I definitely want to pick up some Transformers. But maybe just pick up the first couple, like G1 guys, like Optimus Prime. Not that many, just Megatron, you know? Just a couple of the main guys, good and bad guys. Got some GoBots by Tonka there in the box. And then MASH. They made toys for everything. MASH, they got Rambo. Never think they make uh, toys for a movie like Rambo, but they did. They even had a cartoon series short-lived cartoon series but they made it welcome back Cotter you just watch welcome back Cotter on Nick at night back in the day when I was young and then just more boxed and carded items here on the wall lots of stuff G.I. Joe Batman good selection of G.I. Joe figures here and then I'm gonna finish off here with some micro collection Star Wars you don't really see the micro collection that often you always see these and here's a complete droid factory and that's gonna do it for dr tongues amazing go back and pause and check everything out all right guys that is it for dr tongues here in 
Portland, uh, just as I expected. It was an awesome shop. It was cool talking to the owner there for a little bit. And like I said, it was cool. Lots of stuff in there. Lots of really cool vintage stuff, stuff from the 60s. A lot of stuff you don't usually see at other toy stores. And they had girl toys too, which is awesome uh, to see. You don't really see that either. A lot of strawberry shortcake, She-Ra. They had Teddy Rubskin and what else? Care Bears. It, it was good. It was an awesome toy shop. And I did grab uh, two items that I'm going to show you guys when I get home in the toy room. But this is a great store. I'll leave a link in the description below for their Instagram. And also check them out on uh, Amazon Prime, Toy Store Near You, Dr. Tongues. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my official Soul Couch Hall and merch store. Link in the description below. Here you'll be able to order SCS logo t shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white, black, or any other color that's available here for your liking. We we'll even have some hoodies as well as some special designs I had made for conventions like the ones you see here. And even have stuff for the ladies. And check back often as I'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time. Merch store link in the description below to order your SCS logo shirts today. That was Dr. Tongues. I had that shop in Portland, Oregon. It was an awesome little store. Small, but man, does the owner pack it in with lots of cool vintage toys. They even had toys from the 60s, 70s, lots of great stuff. And like I said, those showcases were full of toys. So I had an awesome time there talking with the owner. Very cool. We we're talking toys for a little while. We we're the only ones in the store when I was there the whole time, which was awesome. And it was real quiet too, a little bit weird, but but it was cool because uh, the owner was nice. Uh, we talked about the YouTube channel and he was telling me about his store. And if you guys want to check out more about Dr. Tongues, I had that shop. Uh, there's a toy series, toy show series on Amazon Prime called A Toy Store Near You. And I think they're already like on two seasons, three seasons maybe. Uh, it's a very cool show where they showcase lots of cool toy stores around the country and even outside of the U.S. as well, a few. And I've actually visited a couple stores on there. Dr. Tongue's, Kokomo Toys in Indiana. Houston was super happy, incredible toys. And hopefully get to check out some more stores because they definitely uh, show off some nice shops and very cool uh, things that they have in those stores. Like It's, a, it's amazing. It's cool. Uh, but on to the pickups. I did pick up two items. Uh, the first one, you guys have been watching the channel for a while. I know I've been into the Shadow series. I'm trying to pick up that whole collection from Kenner. I picked up another uh, Shadow uh, item I did not have. This is a vehicle. This is the Night Mist Cycle right here. Very cool looking motorcycle. You got the Shadow right there on it, riding it. And here's the back. It has some cool like little play features where it shoots up. Uh, missiles and, and things like that so very cool uh great price on these i think it was like 10 bucks it is open but it's sealed which was check that out so everything is still in the sealed in the little baggies and i haven't even pulled it out of here but freaking little thank you what is this kenner products we should uh, reply to this and send it out. What do you guys think? I wonder if it'll get sent back to me. How do I like it? So very cool. I'm glad to add this vehicle to the collection. I think I'm missing two more vehicles. I think there's a villain motorcycle as well. I need to get that and then the taxi. The taxi, I need to get the taxi from the shadow. And I think a few more villains and I'm done. Uh, good thing is it's not very hard to find the shadow figures at good prices you know most of these things are cheap so very cool glad to add this one to the collection who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men <laughs> the shadow knows armed with quick draw 45s the mysterious crime fighter faces the evil show on calm now ready for battle but shadows hit no eyes cloud men's minds you will obey i will obey but khan escapes on his serpent bike after him shadow Khan fires Boom. first. Shadow Cycle pops a wheelie launching a counter missile. Oh. Each sold separately. <laughs> End of the room, Khan. Or is it? Who knows? <laughs> the Shadow knows. All right, everyone. My next pickup and my last pickup from Dr. Tongues is probably my favorite. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. 
it brought back a lot of nostalgic memories for me uh, from when I was even little, little kid, like four years old, five years old. Uh, I remember this cartoon. It was a short-lived cartoon, but uh, all the characters are very cool, and I'm sure you guys might have seen them. If you don't even, if you don't know about them, you might have seen them as well. And uh, it is the year of the playsets, guys. We're still we're winding down to end of the year, but I'm still picking up some places. There's a couple other ones that you guys haven't seen yet that I'm gonna show you that I picked off off camera, like eBay and stuff like that. But uh, this next one, it's uh, my pickup from Dr. Tongues. It is a playset, and I'm talking about the Get Along Gang Clubhouse Caboose. I saw it on the shelf, and I knew I had to have it. I already have it here on display, so I'm gonna show you guys a closer look. But it was a cool uh, playset. Like I said, the cartoon was short lived, but <clears throat> it just brought back a lot of memories. And uh, yeah, we'll get a closer look at this thing right now. If the get along gang is the gang that's going. If the get along gang and the fun is always showing. Get along, get along, get along. If you get all that, meet at the clubhouse. Where? Introducing the get along gang clubhouse caboose. Montgomery Good News Moose and Zipper Cat miniatures, each sold separately. The gang will now come to order. Zipper's too dizzy. Montgomery is teetering on its top. The Get Along Gang Clubhouse Caboose. Montgomery Moose and Zipper Cat each sold separately. New from Tommy. So here it is. Uh, Get Along Gang Clubhouse Caboose playset. Got Montgomery Moose here on the skates. Dottie. And then some of the other cool characters. So this has a very cool little merry-go-round. I already dropped one of the figures. It just has little holes here. You put them on the peg. You know, spin. So it's very cool little play features for little kids. You got a seesaw over here. These guys, you know, having a little fun. You got a little platform that comes up. And you got another little floor here where the figures can, you know, hang out and play. Has a removable ladder right here on the side. Another outlook up here on top of the caboose. You got the telescope on top. It's a little dim here, so hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, but very cool. Uh, you got all these little... Uh, vehicles that came with it very cool these are little wind-ups and uh, i believe tomi made this which is awesome 1984 by tomi very cool so yeah i'm glad to add this to collection and what's cool about this little caboose play set it was actually in the cartoon you can see it in the intro of the cartoon so it's actually uh you know a lot of times we get like say the castle gray school they don't quite look like it from the cartoon, right? But this one does. This one looks exactly like it, which is very awesome. But yeah, I'm happy with this thing. It's not what you would call a very, very exciting 80s playset or figure line. But I mean, I like it. They're cool. They're cute little figures. And uh, I love the colors. It just pops here on the shelf. And I believe there's a few more of these uh, figures that I need to pick up. I don't think this is all of them. But I'll definitely keep an eye out for, for these guys. A lot of times you see these like at flea markets and things. And piles of like figures. So there it is. The Clubhouse Caboose. Another uh, place it added to the collection. Alright, so this yellow thing sticking out right here. That's for another place set pick up what you guys will see in a later video that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed that look at dr tongues i had that shop in portland oregon if you enjoyed it hit the like button please leave me any comments below that's the best thing you do to help the channel uh, let me know what you guys thought of the store what did you see in there that you would have picked up for yourself lots of cool stuff lots of cool vintage uh, toys and have you seen the show on amazon prime toy store near you let me know if you've seen it and what you think about it. Uh, very cool. Definitely check it out if you haven't. Uh, but again, thanks everyone for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and keep up with my future videos if you enjoy this kind of stuff. And you can also go back and check out my past videos as well. Also, I am on Instagram at SoCalShawlin. Give me a follow there. You can see what I'm doing in between videos. And uh, pick up a shirt while you're at it if you want to help support the channel even more. But you don't have to like, comment, subscribe. It's all you got to do to help support the channel, help it grow. We're on the road to 5K. And yeah, 
It was a great little toy hunting adventure. Always cool to check out new stores that I've never been to, especially on the travels. And then I wanted to pick up so much more, but when you travel, you're limited on space, luggage space. Uh, so that's pretty much all I could fit. I had to fit into my backpack, carry on. Uh, but that's the only back, uh, bad thing about traveling. You can't pick up everything, especially the big pieces. Uh, but enough of that. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And I'll catch you on the next toy hunt. Good luck on all your toy hunts out there. And, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. I'm SoCal Shaw, and I am out.